from a police dog kept barking at a tree. When his owner looked into it, he was surprised by what he saw inside. When German Shepherd Kyle had to quit being a police dog, he went to live in the country with a great new family. But one day, he started to act strangely when the dog was out for a walk. He ran into the woods and barked at a particular tree. When his owner peeled back the bark and saw what was inside, they were shocked. Watch the video till the end to find out more about the story. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel, Amazing Animal Stories, and also press the bell icon for more amazing stories. Let's get started. Kyle had a lot of police training, but what he did best was gather information. He was a real detective. But he didn't have it in him to be aggressive when he had to. Kyle's training picked up once he got his new partner, Officer John. He soon learned to be more aggressive when the situation called for it. He would often give his life to protect his new partner. Most of the time, more than one officer would take a service dog out on patrol. But Kyle wouldn't listen to anyone as he did to Officer John. The two worked well together and had a special connection. So they were always on duty together and John even took Kyle in as his son. When Kyle's time on the police force ended, John wanted to keep him more than anything, but he couldn't because Kyle was still on duty. Kyle needed a home where he was loved and cared for all the time, but John knew he couldn't give him that. He gave him to the Smiths because he thought that was best for him. When the Smith family saw Kyle, the grizzled former police dog, for the first time, they immediately fell in love with him. He had been a service dog for eight years and was ready to retire. After adopting Kyle, his family loved nothing more than to take him on daily walks. They often took him to the woods near where they lived. Kyle started acting strange at home for a while. He didn't want to eat and wasn't as lively as he usually was. But when they went for a walk, he was happy to run around in the woods with his tail wagging. On walks, it wasn't unusual for a dog to sometimes sniff the ground. Kyle would find all kinds of animals while they were walking. He even found someone else's old clothes once. Kyle would look for this hidden trail and find whatever it was hiding. But the scent he found this time seemed to make him nervous, which was something the family had never seen before. Now that they were in, they had to keep going. It was like any other day when they were walking Kyle until they noticed something was wrong. He was acting strangely. He was tense and sniffing around with purpose. The family thought Kyle's actions were strange. Maybe something was hiding in the trees. But when they looked up, all they saw were twisted branches where leaves would be in the spring. Kyle had seen something that they hadn't seen before. What did he discover? The family started to worry as well. Smith tried calling him again, but it didn't help. Kyle instead just sat down and froze. Smith didn't know what to do, so he called John, who had worked with Kyle before. John said Kyle had been taught to do this if he smelled something strange or dangerous. He told Smith to look at the tree, but warned him to be careful because it might be dangerous. Smith saw the bark loose when he got close to the tree. Kyle started to bark in a loud way. Smith steadied himself and peeled it back, showing the tree's hollow. After looking into the dark for a while, his eyes suddenly focused, which made him jump back. Smith didn't think twice before pulling out his phone and calling John, the only person he could think of to tell about it. With his voice shaking, he explained exactly what Kyle had found in that old tree. John was very upset and couldn't believe what had happened, so he rushed to find forensics experts before they all ran to the scene. John's trip to Kyle's new house was painful and took much longer than he thought. Since the Smiths adopted Kyle, John had been too busy with work to see him. When they finally got there, he felt bad about his old partner. Kyle can't hold back his excitement when he sees the familiar sight of the cruisers. He runs toward John, and their reunion will make you cry. But John had to get to the tree quickly because he had to take care of something important. He peels back the bark of the tree. Kyle's barking pushes him on, making his heart beat faster. Smith told him about a horrible sight which made his eyes pop. Kyle had led them to a tree where a human skeleton had been hidden. But it was so tightly packed in the tree that they had cut it down carefully to see what they were up against. Smith was surprised by how lively Kyle became as they worked. 
it was like he was his old self again. Smith noticed that Kyle loved John a lot, but as he watched Kyle, new things were happening. Officer John didn't know what to do when he saw the body parts hidden in the hollow tree. He was ready to tell his chief of police so that they could send more help, so he picked up the phone. Before he could make the call, the forensic experts he had brought with him stopped him, and they did the right thing. They took out their tools and looked at the skeleton to figure out where it came from. Usually, it takes at least a week for forensic investigators to find out for sure whose remains were found, and where or what they came from. They had stopped John from calling, because what they had found meant that they didn't need to look into the case any further. They had everything they needed already. The skeleton was a human skeleton, the size of a person, but it was a fake. Someone must have put it there as a Halloween trick or prank, and then forgotten about it. They laugh because they are relieved, but don't understand why Kyle warned them about this. He would have been taught how to distinguish between smells that aren't dangerous and those that are. Smith was the first person to figure out what was going on. He saw that all Kyle wanted was to see John. Recent changes in his behaviour showed that he was lonely and missing his best friend and ex-partner. He knew John would come running when he saw how the police treated him. Maybe that's why he did what he did. Was there a plan? Since John got there, Kyle had been looking up at him. John looked down at his ex-partner, who was still jumping around, licking his hands and nuzzling his legs. Then, he realised that maybe the skeleton had never been the point. John remembered that in all the years they had worked together, there was only one way to get his attention quickly and reliably. Kyle must have known there was no way to get John to come to him faster. When he found something, all he had to do was sit and bark, as he had been taught. John couldn't help but laugh out loud when things started to make sense. He got down on his knees and scratched Kyle's head while looking into his brown eyes. Kyle's signal was a secret message for John, his partner who he missed so much. He missed him so much that he had to figure out how to get back together. Even though Kyle hasn't seen John since he moved, he remembers when they worked together and is still loyal to him. John was deeply moved by Kyle's unwavering love and loyalty, which he could still see in his eyes. He decided to stay a little longer at the scene so he could spend more time with his ex-partner. John could see Kyle's happiness as they walked through the woods alone. Before he left, John promised to see Kyle as often as possible. John turned around and looked up at him for a while. He looked at Kyle, who was still jumping up and down with a silly grin on his face and his tail wagging. John suddenly felt guilty and sad, but he knew he'd made the right choice. What a smart old pup, he thought, as Smith petted Kyle and laughed along with the noise he was making. This story shows how little we give dogs credit for, but sometimes a dog is smart enough to save a whole family. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel, Amazing Animal Stories. Remember to turn on the notification bell to see all our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.